Okay, a few days ago I made a video on how to import the Apple glossaries that were released in August 2012 in the new version of AppSeq Xbench, Xbench 3.0. Now it turned out that it's also possible to use the older free version of Xbench, Xbench 2.9. And in this video I will show you how to do it. So here I have the Apple glossaries. So this is the DMG file that I downloaded from uh, Apple site. And uh, for the details, you can check the video that I released a few days ago, and I'll include a link in the description field below. So here I have uh, all my individual glossary files. So there are 516 of them, and uh, they are files with an LG extension. So let's see how to import these files in the older free version of Xbench. So in Xbench, I will create a new project and I will add my glossaries. So I will select uh, Mac OS X glossary next. But instead of using folder, I will use add file. And I will point to the folder where my files are located. And uh, Xbench 2.9 expect files with an AD extension. And here we have LG, so I will write asterisk dot LG and enter. So here I have all my files and with control A, I can select all of them and open. So now all my 516 files have been selected. I can click on next and OK. And OK. And now Xbench 2.9 is importing all 516 files. OK, so now all files have been uh, imported. I can check with the same search word, so dictation. So here I can see all entries that are found in these glossaries. And like with the new version, I can export with tools and export items. I can select format TMX and as the source language uh, that will be English and uh, target French. Like this, I will save it in, uh, let's say, this folder here. And I will name it Apple Glossaries, ENFR and save. Okay. And now Xbench is uh, exporting all entries to TMX, removing duplicates. Okay, now it's ready. And uh, I can uh, switch to Oliphant. And in Oliphant, I will open this uh, newly created TMX here, open. And I will see how many entries there are. There are 67. 67,700 about. And they are here, so an entry like speak items under mouse after delay, enoncer les éléments sous le curseur de la souris après un délai. So here you are, how to import the entries in Apple Glossaries in the older free version of Xbench and how to export them to TMX. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.